Hello friends, I hope you all are doing well and safe at your homes. I, Dr. Vindarpal, welcome you all on the YouTube channel of Reliant Commerce Academy. As you know, at this platform, we provide guidance to UGC net aspirants. And for the last one year, we were providing some videos of UGC net paper one, which is a common subject, as well as paper two commerce. But now in this session, in the coming attempt that uh, positively may held in the December 2020, now we are going to start a new product means this time we will serve to English medium students also. Earlier we were making videos in Hindi medium but right now from today onwards we will launch some videos or uh, the complete course of paper 1 will be provided in English version and that is purely meant for the English medium students. So anyone those who are preparing for coming December attempt and they want to pursue an English medium they can contact us join us the numbers are given in the description box and you can call anytime for further inquiry. So today uh, we'll start uh, this is the first lecture of paper one and we will start from the unit number two unit number two basically it's a research aptitude and today we will discuss the basic meaning features and the types of research and in the coming days you will get more videos of even its research or even the other units of paper one also so without wasting any time let's begin today's topic so let us start with the meaning of research like what is research why do we research we firstly must know the meaning of research see i'm taking a very famous rhyme as an example we already have heard about this twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are now the focus is on two words one is how and second one is what these two words basically answers the meaning of research like what we do and how we do what we do and how we do so it's an investigation research is research is an investigation to finding the some solution solution to what we deal with the two kinds of problem whether your problem is scientific or it's a problem of social nature fine for example uh, due to this pandemic for the last three to four months every citizen of this country own every uh, person in this universe what they need they want solution they want vaccine of this COVID-19 this is a social problem beforehand and all the scientists what they are doing they are doing research they are they just want to find some solution of this pandemic see so what we are doing basically research covers two kinds of issues one it may be a scientific problem beforehand or it may be a social problem we are facing we want solution so the answer of what and how deal with the research if i go to the dictionary meaning of research see in the next slide search for knowledge the very basic meaning of research is it's a search for a knowledge as we know it's a combination of two words very basic meaning of research is re plus search re means again search means to find something we are searching fine we are searching a solution to some problem so it means technical and organized search research should be in an unorganized manner or to gather some relevant information on a particular topic one more definition it's purely an academic activity it's purely an academic activity that involves what we do we have certain steps first of all we must know what is the problem what is the nature of problem we want some solution for that then formulating a hypothesis hypothesis means a tentative solution of given problem then we will collect some data data may be collected through your observation fine through the personal interviews various methods are there we will discuss later on analyzing of data then we have to analyze the data and finally come to the conclusion come to the conclusion or the solution fine now 
after studying the meaning or the definition of research, we must know about the feature of research. Features are, the very first feature is, research should be conducted in a systematic way. Now what the system is? System says, we should follow all the steps of the research in a predefined sequence. No shuffling is allowed. So, systematic means, the procedures adopt to undertake an investigation or research follow a certain logical sequence. As I've already told you, first of all, we must know the meaning of the problem. Then we will assume some tentative solution that is called hypothesis testing, hypothesis development. Third one, data collection. Fourth one, analysis of data. Fifth one, interpretation of data. And the last one is communication. Means whatever you have observed, we have to uh, like uh, make a summary of that. So it's it have a logical sequence and we have to follow that sequence blindly. We can't challenge these steps. So this is the basic feature of the research that is it should be or it is a systematic activity. Now come to the second feature. Second feature is the research should be valid. Valid means whatever you conclude on the basis of your finding should be correct. And it should be verifiable also means other than the researcher any layman can check your results the result should be same so and it can be verified by you and the others so we should say uh, like research should be valid and the verifiable third one empirical empirical means whatever the conclusion we are going to draw it should be based on some hard evidences hard evidences fine so whatever the information you have gathered whether it's uh, from real life experiences or it may be from your observation it should have an evidence so that any layman can believe on your research so third nature is a empirical and the last feature of the research is it should be critically critically scrutiny like if somebody other than the researcher analyze your findings it should be valid one means the procedures what we are using or the process what we are uh, we have adopted it must be able to withstand critical scrutiny so this is the meaning and the feature of research now we will discuss the types of research see if we talk about the types of research we can differentiate the types on various grounds first of all we will take from the application perspective application means where we are going to use that knowledge or using the our research so an application perspective we can differentiate the research into two parts one is called pure research second one is called applied research so if we talk about the pure research see the basic meaning pure means basic Basic means developing and testing theories and hypothesis. These two words will be there. What we are doing, we are testing some theories or some hypothesis or that are intellectually challenging to the researcher. We will deal only with those problems, those which are intellectually challenging means we have no uh, basically idea to launch this research to practically or commercially use our findings may or may not be practical application at the present time and such kind of work often involves two things testing of theories or we will use some hypothesis very basic example say uh, in this situation like uh, as we all know uh, like our UGC net exam is getting postponed and uh, now what we expect it will be uh, held in the month of December or the year end. So I just want to conduct a research to know the stress level of students. Fine. This is called a pure research. My intention is just to know the mental status of my students. I'm not going to make any kind of theory. No practical implication is there. Just for the knowledge sake. Just for the sake of knowledge, I must just want to gather some information by conducting a research. This will be called as a pure research. Some more information about the pure research. 
uh, we will cover in the next slide. C. The knowledge produced through the pure research is sought in order to add to the existing body knowledge. It means we have some idea, we have some existing knowledge, but we want to explore some more, some new insight into that topic. And it is also called as a basic research. It's not directly involved with the practical problems. Mark this line, I'm marking this word. It is not directly involved with the practical problems. Or we may say it does not have any commercial potential. Fine. No intention to apply this research in the practice. And the very famous institute in our country, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. This institute is basically meant for conducting only and only pure research. Search for the knowledge sake. So this was all about the pure research. Now come to the next slide. Second one is called applied as its name. Now we are going to apply our knowledge. We just want some solution of a given problem. C. It aims at finding a solution for an immediate problem faced by an any business organization or faced by any society. See, for example, any uh, like businessman just want to know why have sales decreased during the last quarter. He just want to know why his sale is decreasing. So here what he will do, he will conduct he, uh, research which is called as a applied research cause he needs some action. He have to take some action to improve the results. So most of the research, please note down most of the research, whether you are uh, like uh, you have done MCOM or you are doing MA means most of the subjects comes under the social sciences. Social sciences, what they do? They use applied research. Fine. Some more information about applied. See the research techniques procedures, forms and the body of research methodology. They are applied to the collection of information about the various aspects of situation, issue, problem, phenomena so that the basic purpose is so that whatever the information we have gathered, it can be used, it can be used in other ways other ways are like for policy formation formulation we can formulate a policy with the help of our research or uh, for administration purpose fine or the enhancement of understanding like in today's scenario some state governments are conducting a survey from their residents like uh, what you think when we should open the schools when we should open the colleges what they are doing? They are conducting a survey. What they are doing? They are using the applied research. Because they want to take some action on the behalf of that feedback they will receive. Fine. So this is the applied research. One more example. I hope you heard about the MSc Mathematics. Some universities are providing MSc Mathematics. They called it a pure, pure science. And someone called it applied mathematics. Applied means where the theories or the formulas will apply. So they provide the degree of applied mathematics and some traditional universities are providing MSc mathematics as a pure. So this is the difference between the pure and the applied. Now, nutshell, in nutshell, we can conclude the basic difference between pure and applied. See. I have made some points for you. First of all, come to the meaning. Basic search is the intention to conducting this search is to expand your knowledge. It adds some uh, adds to some existing knowledge. Applied is the research to solve some specific problem or answer with certain questions. Second, it's purely theoretical. Which one? Basic. And it's purely practical. Scope of the research, utility of the research, pure research utility is universal. And it has a limited utility. Cause you can apply in a certain areas. It's not a universally acceptable theory. Next, concerned with. 
developing scientific knowledge and predictions pure research is conducting just to uh, like get some prediction and as far as applied research is concerned development of technology and the techniques reason being we are going to take some action on the behalf of our research findings and the last one to add some knowledge goal is to add some knowledge to the existing research and here under the applied research the goal is to find out solution for the problem at hand so i tried my level best to explain you only two types of research one is pure second one is applied and in the coming videos you will come to know about the various other types of research fine so if you like this video then please subscribe our channel share with your friends and especially those who are pursuing for UGC net and especially uh, for english medium students fine for hindi medium students we already ha have launched in the last year and uh, any kind of doubt or any kind of inquiry you can take up by at the given number in the description box and we have telegram channel also you can visit that channel the link is provided in the description so see you in the next video happy learning Thank you very much.